How to fix your iPad screen color glitch. Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am Bimo from Genie Guide. In today's guide video, I will show you the way on how you can fix if your iPad has a color glitch or everything is just messed up on your iPad OS. But before we get started, as always, if you are new to our channel, do make sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and without any further ado, let's get started with today's video. Now, there could be multiple reasons why you have having the color glitch on your iPad and not just one particular region. And there are a couple of ways to work around it. So make sure to try all the solutions which I show in this video. If one doesn't work, do not hesitate to try the other one. The very first thing, of course, we're going to do is to simply launch the settings application. Once we launch settings on the left hand side, we want to go to the option which is accessibility. So just go ahead and select accessibility option. Once you go to accessibility on the right hand side, depending upon your iOS version, you'll find an option similar called display. So in your case, it could be written as display accommodation. In my case, it's written as display and text size. Go to display and text size and check if you have any type of filters enabled over here. For example, if you have any type of filters enabled on this particular page, it is basically just going to mess up with the colors. If I turn on, let's say color filters over here, right over here, you can see all these colors has actually been grayed out. So you want to make sure that you go to color filters and then simply turn that thing off. If you have also classic invert turned on, that is also going to basically just mess up with the colors and it is going to just invert all the colors automatically. So I want you to just go ahead and also turn off any of the filter which you have over here and see if that fixes the issue the other thing however i can also do for you is to just go ahead and then restart your ipad so press the power and volume down buttons together and then restart your ipad if that doesn't help, then other thing I would also recommend you to do is to simply check if there are any updates available for your iPad. So to do that, just go to set general. Once you go to general on the top right, go to software update. And if there are any type of updates, just go ahead and update the installations to the latest version. Just go ahead and update your iPad's operating system. So in my case, the current version is iPad 15.1. If I update it, it's going to be updated to iPad 15.7. And last, the final thing I would recommend you to do is just come back to general over here again. Once you go to the general settings, you have to scroll down all the way to the bottom and select the one which says transfer a reset ipad go to transfer a reset and don't worry we're not going to reset our whole ipad and data itself what we're going to do is we will select the option called reset and we will simply go ahead and then reset all settings so you can see the option which says reset all settings what this does is that if you messed up with any of the settings within your ipad uh, in a few days or just before you got the color glitches issue it is going to reset all of those to the default version to the factory version when you first received your ipad so just make sure to reset all settings it may ask you to verify with the passcode and so on go ahead and enter it and see if that fixes the issue because most of the times it definitely would and hopefully this video helps solve your problem if it help solve the problem make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you have any more questions queries or doubts simply also make sure to leave them down below thank you very much for watching till the end and see you soon in our next video